Hey YouTube, how is it going today? In this video, I want to do another Excel of Technologies Incorporated update. I've been watching this one pretty closely, and this one looks like it definitely could be bottoming out. So I want to show you how I intend to play it. Then I want to show you another trade I see setting up an ARPO, and then I'm going to get into some of your questions. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have been trading and investing for over 20 years. And in each video, I will show you trades that I see setting up right now. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading and investing ideas. And also, if you would like to support the channel and become part of our Patreon community and see what we are buying and selling in real time for a measly $10 a month, that link is in the description. All right, welcome back to another Excella Technologies Incorporated Technical Analysis Update. The ticker symbol on this stock is XELA. Before I get started, if you don't mind liking the smash button and help me out with the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor. All of this is just my opinion. Please make all of your own trading decisions. That being said, this chart right here is the daily chart. And as we can see, it's having a pretty decent reversal so far. It's up about 9.5% at the moment. So a nice little day on Excella Technologies. I talked about yesterday how I was making this bullish hammer formation right here. And that was um, leading to a possibility of a decent looking reversal signal. And that's what we're getting right now and as we can see it came all the way up to this white line this eight period exponential moving average if you guys don't have that on your chart definitely put that on there because you'll find that stocks once they get far away from it once they uh, bounce back up into it it becomes resistance or if they are high above it and they pull back down into it, it usually becomes support and it usually becomes support at least temporarily and the same with resistance so um, if you're looking to potentially make a day trade that is a great moving average to use but let's go to the 15-minute uh, chart and take a closer look at what's going on with Excellus Technologies in this reversal. Um, in my last video, I talked about how they were making this uh, distinctive descending wedge formation. And this is usually uh, the sign of a reversal that is imminent. And uh, we did get a break through that upper trend line and starting to move sideways. So this is exactly what I wanted to see uh, happening. And it looks like it's happening just perfectly. Actually, let me get these out of here real quick. But we can start. We are seeing that it is making a very nice rounded bottom formation, and it looks like it could be heading even higher because it did make this false breakdown. Then the sharp move up, and it is starting to move sideways. That like I wanted to see. And as we can see, this area right here where it's having trouble, this is a pretty stiff resistance area. So if uh, Excella can break through there, there's a good chance it's going to continue the move upward. So this is what I am waiting for is a breakthrough this resistance area. And then I'm probably going to re-enter the stock. Now, uh, the reason why I love this trade is because it's a pretty easily defined risk reward trade. It's a usually a high risk or a, a high reward, lower risk trade. Because if it breaks through this resistance area, that's my signal to get in. And if it breaks down below it, that is my signal to get out and wait for a better signal. But if it keeps going, you have all of this room to the upside. And I would expect Excella to make a move towards $4 a share. So from right here, that's going to be right around 30% or more if it can blast a little bit through a $4 a share. Um, just by looking at this pattern, I wouldn't say that it has a high probability of making it to a new all-time high, but it could. Um, there is a lot of volume that's pouring into the stock, so you never want to limit your upside, especially when there's a lot of uh, volume and a lot of momentum coming in. But just in my experience of this pattern, I usually like to take profit right around halfway up a retracement of this move. So this move has been all the way down to the bottom has been just over 50%. So what I, want, what I would like to do is take my uh, profit right around this level right here, just over $4 or so. That should be about half of the move. Plus you have this resistance area right here. So uh, chances are there's going to be... Um, you know some selling coming into the market right here whether it has enough you know umph to, to push through that level well it's something we're gonna have to wait and see but uh, excella technologies is doing exactly what i was hoping was going to do and i think this is a very bullish pattern so i'm um, looking forward to getting back in this stock if it can break through that level and actually let's go take a look at the weekly chart real quick if you are not familiar with my channel, um, um, I really like to see long bases and Excel definitely made a long one and went on for longer than a year. And usually if you have a long base like that, that's the foundation that sets up a stock for going on 
a you know multi-month run and that's what i'm hoping to see in excel technologies you never know if it's going to happen but when i see this long base then i see a lot of volume coming in especially on this weekly chart um I, it usually tells me there's a higher probability of having a decent move to the upside. And if we zoom in a little bit closer, we can see Excella has held above that eight period exponential moving average on the weekly chart. So that's telling me the long term trend is still to the upside. So um, all signals are go for this stock. So um, hopefully it does have a break through that resistance area that I uh, showed on the chart earlier. And that's going to be my signal to uh, get back in. All right, the next stock I want to talk about is ARPO. They are a biotech company, and as we can see, they are having a pretty decent update today. They're up about uh, 9% at the moment. It's breaking above that eight-period exponential moving average, and it has been mired in a pretty steep downtrend. It fell from about 330 all the way down to about $1.89 a couple of days ago, so that represents about a 43% haircut. But right now, it looks like it is finally making that rounded bottom. If you look a little closer, you can see that pattern that I love to look for. It's got, it looks like it's got a nice little rounded bottom starting to happen with that false breakdown right here. And um, if we go to the 15-minute chart, we can probably get a better look at it. And as we can see, it is a very nice looking rounded bottom formation with a break above that resistance. Um, this is the area that is um, probably going to offer the most resistance and it is breaking through it right now and holding it. So um, if this stock ends up holding this area, I'm probably going to take a position in it before the end of the day. I like to take position in stocks like these in the last 15 minutes or so, because it, um, if you've been watching stocks, you can see sometimes that they have a nice little crack at the end of the day and if this thing has a crash and it breaks down through this uh, support area then that kind of negates the pattern so that's why I like to wait till the end of the end of the day I want to make sure that that pattern um, is completed before I enter it and then of course I'll put my stop loss probably uh, maybe a little under two dollars a share so I won't be risking a whole lot in it and if this thing does end up taking off which it looks like it could um, you know I should make uh, three four times the amount that I am risking hopefully so that's a nice risk reward trade-off going here and actually let's go to the daily chart one more time let me get this thing out of here real quick if you go to the daily chart and back it out we can see that arpo has been in a very long base i mean it's a pretty sloppy one i like to see them tighter than this um, this one has had a pretty big range for considering how much this stock is worth oh this thing's already starting to take off a little bit without me uh, hopefully it doesn't take off too far and it doesn't get too far extended but um, just going back to this base right here I mean this is very important for a sustained move up normally uh, stocks have a pretty decent sized base if they get into a like a multi-week and multi-month run and that's what uh, hopefully we get with ARPO and of course the other thing I like to look for is big volume spikes this tells me that bigger players are uh, taking positions and they are expecting this stock to go higher these guys are probably in the know and I am not so I have to look for clues like this that shows me that the uh, the big boys are taking their position and hopefully I can ride their coattails up. But let's go to the weekly chart real quick. And we can definitely see how nice this consolidation looks on the weekly chart. And um, we can see it's already starting to round up pretty nicely. So I think this one is a beautiful looking pattern with a lot of volume coming into it. So I think uh, I think ARPO is setting up very nicely. And like I said, if this thing can hold above, uh, let's call it a 215 or so before the end of the day, I think I'm probably going to take a position in this one because it looks like a very nice looking pattern. All right, well, let's get to a question that I had. I had a question from Anno Ventico. Hopefully I am pronouncing that right. And they're asking about Rolls Royce. And I get questions on this stock from time to time. And I, honestly, guys, I don't understand the fascination with this one. Um, maybe it's just the name. I don't know what it is, but I, I really don't have much to offer on this stock. I mean, this thing just kind of bounces around and there's not really a rhyme or reason for how it does it. Hopefully you haven't been in this stock for too long. Hopefully you haven't been in it in the, uh, the tens or the, or, or above because, uh, man, this thing is brutal and doesn't look like, um, it's going to be going up anytime soon. 
I think it's got to continue to go sideways a little bit longer. And then once we get a break above this level right here, around $1.75 or so, then perhaps it has uh, built up enough of a foundation to uh, have a sustainable uptrend. But there is just way, way, way too much overhead supply going back uh, years um, so that usually takes quite a while to play out. Hopefully you're not one of those people that are up in this over, uh, overhead supply area. Hopefully you've just been buying it the last couple of days or so. But, um, as far as Rolls Royce holdings goes, um, I don't know. I don't think, personally, I think the future is kind of bleak. Who knows what, what could happen? This is popular. A lot of people talk about this one. Maybe this thing explodes up in the near future. Who knows? But I mean, just looking at the chart, it kind of looks like uh, dead money to me. Hopefully that answered your question. Uh, if, if I didn't, if you wanted to know something more specific, uh, please uh, just ask the more specific question and I'll try to answer that in, uh, in another video. Okay, everyone, that is all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions or comments on any of these stocks, or if you have any other ones you want me to take a look at, please leave it down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. And until next time, take care, everybody.